a lot of work. Well, it's something we started, you know, Alex and I back in 94. Um, I, th I grew up here in Atlanta, and so did Alex. I mean, we felt at that time that Atlanta needed a signature festival, that it's a major city, and most major cities do. We thought Atlanta needed a signature music festival and, and wanted it to, to grow, and we wanted to define Atlanta. I mean, it's great for the city, not only economically, because of all the hotels will be filled and all the vendors we use, but it's also important culturally. You know, we have people fly in from Europe and Japan, you know, that, that watch this. So as, as we grow and get bigger as we're going forward, it will continually to, to define Atlanta and Atlanta is defining the festival. And Atlanta audiences is really interesting because Atlanta audiences tend to be so much more polite than other cities. I mean, there's things we do here in this city you couldn't do in New Jersey or New York, you know? You know, like Chastain, the act's always freaked out that we have wine in bottles. They're like, you can't do this in New York, you know? So it, it's, it's interesting to me. Everybody always asks me, I want to get backstage, and I'm like, why? It's like the most boring place in the world. I mean, no one's doing anything. The doors are all shut, you know? It's quiet, it's like church back there, and everybody thinks there's a big Bacchanalian festival and we're running around partying and, oh, it's time to get on stage, guy. I mean, you know, most of these guys now are meditating or doing yoga or, you know, um, you know and then they get together and, you know, go out on stage. I mean, it's, it's a business. You know, maybe in 65 it was like that. I mean, Alex tells me back in the 60s it was somewhat like that, but it's such a business now. and There's so much money at stake that, you know, someone in a band does that, they throw them out, you know. But, yeah, backstage is probably the least fun place to be. You're going to run into an accountant. <laughs>